my definition goes a little bit beyond that. My definition of honesty is that our actions, our behaviors are in alignment with what we profess to believe in or stand for. There's a second part to that, which is because we're human and we're going to screw it up every once in a while, when we veer off course, when our behaviors and actions do not align with our professed beliefs and values, we are honest enough with ourselves that we can recognize that and do the hard work to get back in alignment. So each of these traits comes about, we become these things, we become these type of leaders through daily practice. The second trait is humility. This is very much what you think it is. It's having a healthy relationship with our ego, but there are two parts to humility that I like to talk about. The first is obviously recognizing our weakness without getting defensive. And that can be very difficult, especially when we're in a position of leadership or authority, when somebody calls us out for something or, or points out a mistake that we've made, it's very easy to let that wall go up and to start getting defensive, to blame uh, other circumstances or other people, to sort of deflect that, that responsibility off of us. But there's a second part of humility that I think we don't talk about enough. And it has to do with confidence. I call it humble confidence. It is absolutely okay for us to have the position of authority that we have. You've worked for it. It is okay to make the money that you make. It is okay to have the access to resources that you have. It is okay to have the experience and the education and all of the things that you have. What I think we, where, where I think we fall short sometimes is, is how we use those things. So often we see all of these things that we've worked for, that we have, that we've accumulated, and we think, well, that's going to be really good for me. That's when ego creeps in. And that's when we get leadership that is more focused on our own interests rather than the interests of the team. So humble confidence comes in when we see and recognize all of those incredible things that we have and we're willing to give it away. When we look at this stuff and we say, I have these things and they're not just for me. When we have the humility to recognize that those are things that we can do or the things that we have to lift up the people around us, that takes humility. And that allows not only ourselves, but those around us to rise as well. It's humanity. To me, this is the glue of sticky cultures and sticky organizations. Humanity means that we have a genuine care and concern for the human experience of the people that we influence. We help people to feel seen and heard, to feel valued and valuable. This has been such a huge issue in the last, especially in the last two and a half years where we have moved to remote work, where people are isolated, they're on their own, they don't feel connected to their team or to the organization anymore. Humanity is about seeing the individual behind the employee, to recognize and empathize with the need of that human being. When we are intentional about doing these three things, this is where the magic happens. When we're intentional about doing those three things, the natural result is trust and connection.